Hi everyone, Alex Bim it up. Continuing with our Revit multi-trade from 0 to 100 cores. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a site using Forma. This is part 1. I'm going to show you how to install the software. I'm going to show you how to specify the address, how to select the area of study, and how to select your different data sets like the terrain, the roads, the buildings. And we're going to slightly modify that data to end up with exactly what we're looking for. Let's get started. So I'm going to autodesk.com slash products slash format. And from here you can either start your free trial or you can access your format hub. You'll be required to sign in. So, so once you sign in, you can access your format hub. Alternatively, what you can do is come here to Autodesk Access and then go to view all your products and services. And simply scroll down to Autodesk Forma. And as you can see, it's a cloud-based software, so it's via browser. You go Access, and there you have access to all your projects. And now to start a new project, so we come here to New Project. Let's give it a project name: Two Four Zero Two Miami House, and that's in Miami, Florida. United States and from here you can zoom out, zoom in, pan right or left and the area that we're interested in is somewhere south north of 22nd Street and is between 17th Avenue and 13th Avenue so it's somewhere around here and if you want to be sure you can just turn this on and then you see we want to work on this block here and we want to work on this block here as well. So I'm going to bring this whole thing. So I click here and confirm map area. And Forma is doing its magic now. And notice that it tells you order and manage data in the library. And you see the icon for the library here. And then from here you can select the different data sets. So let's bring in the terrain. So we order it. Order successful. We probably want to bring in the roads as well. So let's go here and order. And let's bring in the buildings as well. And you can see you have a few options here. What I've heard is that depending on which area you're in, one may be better than the other. In our case, let's just go with the first one, open city model. Order. And now if you want to bring like the property boundaries or something else, you could. I'm not going to bring that. I'm just going to close out of here. And you can come here anytime and modify your data selection. So let's go to our library. You remember this icon? Library. And it seems like by default it had already brought in the terrain and I brought it again. So let's get rid of this one. You can come here and say delete. Delete element from library. Yes. And then this is your canvas, right? So if you want to bring in your road, you can click here and say place in canvas. And now you see your road. And this is the information that Autodesk has available. You see that it has blue lines here. Those are the streets that Autodesk recognizes. And then these little roads here are probably not going to be brought in. But we can trace them later. I'll show you how to do that. For now, let's just click Add. And we're adding that to our set. Very nice. And then similarly, let's go to Building. Click here. Place in Canvas. And then from here, this is a lot of information, right? So you may not want to bring in all those buildings because we're going to be focusing on this block here and this block here. So maybe you just one like this guys here, right? So what you can do is you can orient to top view. And then instead of bringing this whole thing, you can say, okay, I just want to bring in, let's say all the way up to here. And then click add. And there you go. Only those buildings are being added. And then if you want to remove something from your selection, you could. So let's say I want to remove this little building here. You can go Edit Base. I'm doing right click. Or you could also click here and do Edit Base here. And then there you can click here and delete. Boom, it's gone. So maybe you want to keep these buildings here in case you want to do some kind of site demolition 3D or something. Uh, but in our case, I'm just going to delete this building and this building. So I'll go again, right click, edit base, and click on this building, 
delete click on this building and delete now I'm done so let's say I want to add this road here since we don't have the information on them so I would probably orient this to my top view and then come here to road then you can click here 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 and here you can change the width of that road so let's say you want to make it 10 feet there you go and then we go back to road and we can click here So you know that's pretty good, that's decent. We probably want to create a site delimitation here. So we can come here to site limit. And you can say you can edit it by grabbing those little points there. So it's pretty decent, you know that's our site. Now let's talk a little bit about our interface here. You see that here you have the navigator, your library, some extensions, project members so you can add people here. You can compare different proposals and then you have your board to share some highlights. But what I want to do is come here to navigator so you can see that we have our first proposal here and it's named proposal one. And I'm going to rename it Miami House with School. And I'm going to propose that they build a school here, a little school. And now you can go ahead and duplicate this and rename this one as Miami House with ED, an emergency department, right here. Let's go to this one. You can see that this one's the one active now. And then let's sketch out the building here. And now let's create our first building. You have several options here under building. But in my case, I'm just going to do a generic volume. So I want to do some kind of extrusion like what you see on screen. So I click here on volume. I'm going to orient to a top view more or less. And then I'm going to start just sketching. And this is very rough of course. I can start somewhere around here. And if I type 40 feet, it locks it to 40 feet. So I'm good there. I'm going to do 220 feet in this direction. I'm going to do 180 in this direction. Let's say 120 in this direction. Let's say 40 more in this direction. Let's carve in 66 feet. Let's come down about 100 feet or so. Let's just be parallel to the other one. That's good. Now let's hit enter. And now it's going to ask for a height. So we can orbit a little bit. You can click randomly or you can type a value. In my case, I'm going to type 40 feet for now. You can modify that later and then click and that's good. And now you can move this building. You can rotate this building. It moves a little bit tricky. It's not that friendly, but you could always, you know, just like click here and just move a little bit like that. But you have your move and your rotate command here. In my case, I'm not going to mess with this too much. What I want to do though is click on it and give a little more information. So for example, you can add some floors here. You can say that it has three floors and each one is uh, say 13 feet. There you go. Those are my three floors right here. And let's say I like it like that. So I'm done with proposal number one, which is the Miami house with a school. I need to rename this because this was a copy. So that's the Miami house with a school. And now let's go with the Miami house with an emergency department. And then here, let's say for now, I just want to sketch out a building. You just come here, generic volume. And then this one's going to be, let's say it starts here and it's 300 feet long. And then it's 85 feet 
in width. Then let's just take it down, hit enter. Let's give it a height. For now, let's call it 40 feet as well. So that's good. And then for this proposal, I can see that this doesn't really jive well with these houses. So we would have to get rid of these houses here. So let's go ahead and edit the base and then and then select delete, select delete, select delete, select delete, select delete, select delete. And let's say for now we're gonna try to keep these buildings here. So I click done. Obviously in none of this case it would make sense to have these roads here. I just wanted to show you how to add some roads. So we would have to note that in our demo plans. So let's just go ahead and go to our navigator and then let's export this first one. And then you come here and you go into Revit and we can send to Revit. And if you haven't installed the plugin, you wanna come here and download the Revit add-in. I already did that, so I don't have to do it, but you might wanna do it. I noticed that when I edited my base for the one with the ED and removed these houses here, they got removed also from proposal uh, number one, the one with the school. So you gotta be careful and just make sure that you set your site the way you want it. And then if not, just make it another project. Now make sure you visit bimedup.com. Over there you'll be able to log in if you already have login information or if you wanna become a member, you can sign up with Google, Facebook, or with your email address. And once you're a member and you're logged in, you have access to a lot of good features. You can access your bookings from here, you can go to my programs, and even some free ones that I offer there. I'm running a little bit of a scholarship program here because I don't want money to be the reason why you cannot develop professionally. So these are all the programs that I'm a participant on and these are the ones that I have completed. So go ahead and visit bimitup.com. Becoming a member is free, but I do not run ads in any of my stuff. So the creation of the content is made possible entirely from patrons and other contributions. So if you can, consider subscribing. I'll leave a link in the description of the video and I'll see you soon.